everybody! I'm the Amazing Atheist, and today we're going to look at some stupid shit that I found on Tumblr. Uh, they show a guy, I'm sorry, not a guy, not a guy, a male appearing individual, and uh, all around um, him, they, is uh, people saying things like him, Mr. Son, he, sir, boy, his. And uh, they're correcting them by saying, they! And then there's one of a girl, I mean, not a girl, but a girl-looking person. And uh, people saying, woman, daughter, girl, lady, ma'am, she, miss. And once again, the correction, they! They! For those of you who are wondering what the fuck is going on, Here's the description. Respect agender people's pronouns. Just because they look like a girl or a boy does not mean that's what they are. Also respect that they would like to be called male, female, or other pronouns as well. Just because they like gendered pronouns doesn't mean they are less of an agender person. Practice using they for anyone until you know their preferred pronouns. Never assume. So first of all, let's talk about the word they. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you could say they went to the store instead of he went to the store, but... They, in that sense, kind of connotes multiple people went to the store. Mr. You know, how can you use they for Mr.? This is Mr. Isaac. This is they Isaac. Doesn't make sense. Uh, his? How can you substitute they for his? This is his razor. This is they razor. Sounds like a black person telling you whose razor it is. This is they razor. Sorry, they do say that. Racist. It's not racist. That's how racist. they talk. Fuck you! It's how they talk. That's another problem with the word they. You know, it's always being associated with various groups. And in fact, a lot of people talk about they as this scary force that exists somewhere out there. Like, they won't let us fuck, you know, our, uh, Swiss cheese anymore until our cum spews out of all the holes. This is an outrage! You know, people are always saying that they are up to something. They won't let us do this. They won't let us do that. I really have no problem identifying people with any sort of set of pronouns they want. I mean, I refuse to use like the Z and Zer and all that shit because it just doesn't make any sense, but you know, if you want to be referred to in gender-neutral ways, I'm all for it. Uh, but don't expect... The, the, the real problem is practice using they for anyone until you know their preferred pronouns. Never assume. Never assume? I mean, come on. Most people are cisgendered, all right? Most people are not trans or agender or some other gender distinction. So, yeah, you're pretty safe assuming most of the time. Like, I wear glasses. Most people who see me probably assume that I have bad vision, but actually my vision is perfect 2020 vision. I just wear these for fashion reasons. You lie! You lie! Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, assumptions can be wrong, but when assumptions are wrong, they should simply be corrected. If I see some dude and I'm like, hey, man, what's up? And he's like, I'm not a man. I am a gender. I have no gender orientation. I'd be like, oh, sorry about that. Um, they? You know what I really attribute this to? I attribute this to people who seem to believe that words have magical powers to them. I mean, I understand that language is important. I, I don't disagree with that. But it's not as important as some people have made it out to be these days where they think like, simple words can, are just like, they're, they're almost worse than just punching someone in the face. You know, it, it's like words are treated as if they're, they're like atom bombs that are just waiting to blow up and destroy our society. That seems about how it's treated. I even saw a hashtag the other day trending that said, save the planet in four words. You cannot save the planet in four words or any amount of words. It takes actions. You have to actually do something. Just controlling your own speech and attempting to control the speech of others, that doesn't actually change anything. 
Really, a lot of times, these people who refuse to use the uh, correct pronouns for transgender people or for agender people or for whoever the fuck else exists out there in the world on the gender spectrum, most of the time, the reason they won't do it is because the only thing they really know about transgender people or agender people or any of those groups is that they want to police language. That's the first thing most people find out about. That's the first thing most people know about. Don't you think that if maybe if they actually met transgender people, agender people, saw that they're not that different, saw that they have the same sorts of problems and concerns as everyone else, that maybe it would humanize those people and then they would see, yeah, it actually does make sense for me to respect their proper pronouns because this is obviously very important to them and their sense of identity. But instead it's like, language police, woo, woo, language police here, we're here to control what you say. You PC, brah? I mean, look, I don't want to give agender people a hard time. Transgender people in general uh, attempt suicide with at a 41% rate. So obviously this is a group that's very marginalized with a lot of problems. And I, I acknowledge those problems and I'm totally on your side and, and totally about getting you the sort of uh, ability to express your identity that you feel you need. I'm cool with that, but... Don't try to police language. Don't try to tell me that I can't make assumptions. I mean, we live in a culture where the grammar is gendered. There are languages where there are where all the pronouns are gender neutral. But English is not one of them. So stop trying to be language police. Stop trying to hijack words and change their meaning so drastically that you make the entire English language a confusing, muddled mess, more so than it already fucking is. I'm the Amazing Atheist. Peace the fuck out. And if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see me review the horrendous movie Angels in the Outfield, sign up for a free audio book at audibletrial.com forward slash The Amazing Atheist. You help support The Amazing Atheist channel and uh, you get your Angels in the Outfield review and you get a free book from the largest collection of audiobooks on the fucking internet. So, pretty sweet deal for everyone involved.